Hello, it's Veronica here and Naomi. And today we are asking ourselves probably a complicated question for us. Who is the most evil Rainbow High character? And of course, us twin sets are considered as one unit in this because every act of sabotage, we work together in the show and it's kind of just something that happens. Yeah. We like always work together on our sabotage and never really separate from each other. So, so we put up a poll on, on, on our community, community tab and our daughter Donnie put one up on Instagram as well. And we'll show the, the results for those real quick. Why do so many people on Instagram think we're evil, Naomi? Because that's how we're characterized in the show, Veronica. And why are we considered more evil than you on the, on the YouTube one? Probably because how you're characterized on the channel. But the standout here, the one that consistently got more votes, is Maylene. And we also agree that Maylene is the most evil. And we're going to go into reasons why. So we'll do brief little sections analyzing each of our characters and what kind of evil acts we, we do in the show. And how much it, it has an impact on other people. Engage who is most evil by that. So the first section is our, our sabotage to Rainbow Vision. The thing a lot of people says that makes us, us evil. We also have a, a natural maniacal laugh. Yeah, we do. I mean, I can see why some people would think that we're evil. Because we have a maniacal laugh. We do sabotage. We actually damage school property at Rainbow High. Like, very much like intentionally in the show. And you would think that we're completely evil and completely soulless. But the way our Donnelly thinks of it, the way she interprets our actions, she sees it more as our characters doing what we can to help our school win and also something that adds more depth to the characterization that wouldn't otherwise be there is the leadership and charisma we show when leading the like the shadow high freshman in hacking rainbow high because technically, us hacking into Rimpai's system to get our message across wasn't, it wasn't destroying any property, didn't cause any lasting damage, and it made a really positive change to the competition of Rainbow Visions. So technically, that was a good move, and it wasn't a bad thing to do. It was horrible! You ruined our... Power chance to host. 
because you're losers and you don't deserve it. But... Uh, but we're to find out that our characters show leadership and charisma. We know how to respect our peers. There's even a scene where we are judging all their midterms that we make them finish a week early. And, well, and there's never a scene in that where Naomi and I directly insult their work. Except for a time I, I, I throw, throw a shoe at somebody. Yeah, that was funny, Naomi. But other than that, it's just kind of sarcastic commentary. But it's not negative commentary, which is what makes it interesting. That scene. Because we don't act explicitly evil in that scene. We act like upper-class women guiding the underclassmen. And it's just, it's, it has a different feel. And not to mention that the only motivation our characters show to, to, to do our sabotage during rainbow vision is because the devious twins are also doing it. And because we want our school to win. By any means necessary. And that's really the only motivation that is shown. Like, yeah, we don't like Rainbow High, but we're, o we're always shown in a way where we're trying to help our school. Like, even though we do, like, some pranks and some sabotage against specific Rainbow High students at the beginning of the season, yeah. That was deliberate. And what about, about your scary, maniacal laugh? Uh, yeah, about that. We just naturally have a maniacal laugh. Just, be just because we have a maniacal laugh doesn't mean we're the most evil. Maybe we're a bit more dramatic with our pranks and our sabotage, but doesn't mean we're necessarily the most evil about it. We also do it, like, and we also do it from the shadows more often. We don't do it as in people's face as the devious twins do. At least we didn't endanger a bunch of people on state. But by diff diffusing a fog machine on stage. Like, yeah. Our Shadow High friends wanted to use that in the show and stuff. But the devious twins ruined it. And considering someone had a, a perfume allergy in that part of the show and nearly got hurt, yeah, that is just, I'm sorry, but that makes them more evil than us. Like, we never directly hurt anybody. We always did it from the sidelines. Yeah, most damage we did was ruining someone's necklace for a project, hacking into people's technology, and... and ruining some lighting equipment during the Kingsley Boys performance. And I cut a small tear in Maylene's dress. Just a little snip. Yeah, Naomi did that one. But it wasn't the most effective... So, really, how do you determine that as being the most evil? Like, seriously. Also, every show needs a fill-in to make the narrative more interesting. So, yeah, why don't we do admit that our characters are kind of written to be evil? We do not think we are the most evil. Our doll mommy doesn't think we're most evil. Thank you for, for, for fixing my earring, mommy. Yeah. And now on to the next group, the Devious Twins.
Well, our case is interesting. Because why we don't show as much leadership or charisma as them? And why we have bigger egos than them? Our doll mind theorizes that our characters have overt narcissism and my character has anger issues. So yeah, we, we, so she kind of takes the whole misunderstood rich girl kind of approach or the whole rich girl who, who's really spoiled, who never got, got properly disciplined and never learned her lesson. So now they're, they're stuck like that. And she considers her just, just kind of too dumb to be as evil as some of the others. Although it's recount our sabotage. Yes, we did mess with a fog machine and fog up the whole Rayo High Auditorium. Not to mention we... Although we're not evil because we freed those backup dancers from that closet that Naomi Veronica tried to lock them up in. Because we didn't want your school to win. This is why we should not collab on videos together because we always end up screaming at each other. But yeah. So to recap from the beginning... Our characters are first shown judging Bella for getting expelled and doing our little click click thing. And then we have this big school play where it's about our family's sparkle sister ski lodge. So you admit that you had a big advertisement for your ski lodge to disguise as a school play. Yeah, we did because we had to advertise our Sparkle Sister Ski Lodge. And, uh, and we admit, we were a little rude on set. But that's just how we are as directors. Like... Yeah, we're just kind of narcissists. And it's funny with us. So, please don't question it. Ha, so you admit you're narcissist. Pathetic. Shut up! Now, continuing on. Yeah, there is a Halloween episode where us and the assistant do a bunch of, like, Sabotage and pranks together. That 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 make references to the horror film, the, the Shining, including the infamous "We never ever ever forget" scene. Well, although the assistant is the one who did most of those pranks, we just told him to do them, <laughs> and he follows us like. Like, he is, like, so blind and so dumb sometimes. Like, seriously. He's, like, the most loyal slave follower ever. I thought he was your friend. He, he's our best friend, too, because we don't really have a lot of friends. And then, just to add a little ego booster thing for Radiant Week we decide to put on a winter tale of two super beautiful enchantresses of us in all the roles, which we didn't win, unfortunately, because your narcissist is obsessed with their very with your own egos, and your acting isn't that good. Stop insulting us! You're hurting our egos! And now going on with season three. Yeah we, yeah, we didn't get any involvement in season one because we were introduced in season three. Although there is a prank that we probably did that includes getting the Marine Baha'i Unicorn statue onto the roof of the school. So I guess someone could say that's pretty evil. <laughs> that was that was, that was a horror!
horrible prank. You two are so mean. You're also mean. Well, well, so our involvement in season three is, let's just say we get angry a lot whenever they hack into Rainbow High's technology. We call them a bunch of star losers. Us and them kind of exchange some banter in between all the Rainbow Vision stuff. Yeah, like Veronica forgetting our last name. I was being sarcastic. Jeez. So then it's so then we like rub it in their face that we totally beat them out at the Toddler Twins and Tiaras competition. Whenever we were we were really little 15 years ago. Yes, I explain what age we are when we're in this competition. The cannon. Our doll my head had 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 us to to be a bunch of three year olds during this time for some reason. So now moving on from that, like random little lore point, we then lot of the competition getting angry because they keep messing with with, te with the technology and ruining our entrance. Yeah, because we hate you. And everyone at our school hates you. We know you hate us. Actually, we intensely dislike you. Yeah. We really intensely dislike you two, and we hate having t to work with you on a video like this. Why are you two being mean to us? Because we intensely dislike you. Well, enough with them saying that they're stupid phrase like that. And, and we argue they're pretty evil for saying we intensely dislike you to someone as innocent as Sunny. Because we intensely dislike her. Yeah, whatever. So then we do our audition. They start like, like like tormenting us, telling us it was terrible. And then they steal the assistant away from us. Yeah, because we like having the, having our own personal servant as well. And we want to get back at you. See, they are evil than us. Calm down, Laurel, calm down. So uh, they have like our assistant distracted and stuff. We're upset. So we sing a little song about our egos. Yeah, so after singing the song about our, our, our egos, the semifinals begin. And we catch them doing all sorts of nasty sabotage. Like trying. Like like locking Mina's back from dancers in a giant closet. Yeah, because they were dumb enough to fall for it. You two are so mean. So we were kind enough to free them from the giant closet. And then we then fog up the whole auditorium. With this fog machine. Full of this Natasha girl's perfume. Yeah, and you nearly hurt someone. We know that that prank was amazing. And then after they do a little more sabot sabotage and stuff, we're like totally about to hack into the, to, the, to ruin Neon Shadow's performance. And then like the assistant comes barging in with evidence like against both of us or something. And he's like, oh my, and he's like, he forced us to work together with them, which we both hated. I guess we're both evil in that regard, then. The fact that we agreed to work together to do sabotage. So, with that whole part, Veronica turns off the auto-tune from those dar dar darn dogs' performance. 
Yeah, because their voices are horrible and people have to know truth. And then the Kingsley Boys performance, they totally mess up the lighting equipment. And cause property damage that way. And us, well, we just pull out a bunch of cables backstage, mess things up. I mess things up a little, but it's not as effective. Yeah, 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 we don't cause as much damage as them. So, so then I get the brilliant idea to call my mommy to answer she knows that guy in Australia. That, that producer, Richard Brandom. So she does know him, and we get the, the Kinksy boys on tour now with a competition. Because we are rich, and our family has a lot of moolah. <laughs> you say moolah is cringe. Just say money. Fine. We have a lot of money. You're in part of the party billionaires. But yeah, that's kind of like our involvement with so far with that. And does it continue? Yes. Just. Yeah, even if we met uh, successfully match with semifinals. If both of us try to match with the finals. Yeah. And then those nasty. Then Ainsley and her that Avery decide to stop us. And, and threaten to tell that shall we hi. I had mistress on us. Oh, yeah. And Avery also... Yeah, Ainsley does. Stops us. And tries to tell that... That Shao Hai had mistress on us. And she tries to steal her evidence. So unfair. And then Avery? Well... She stops us. And so we're mad. And we and and neither of us have appeared in Shadow and Rainbow High season four. Yeah, we have not appeared in Rainbow High season four yet. So that's the extent of our evil deeds. We are totally not the most evil. Oh yeah, and our Tommy thinks our characters are also helping our school win. Like like we don't really show that much negative intention towards other people. We just have huge egos and only think of ourselves. So we never think beyond ourselves. And we're just narcissists. And we're just narcissistic. And we do what we can to help our school. So we do not have most evil motivations. Or most harmful motivations to other people. Even if we judge and cancel people. as f for fun. So, yeah. And now we have the next person to discuss, Maylene. We, we don't have Maylene's doll, but we know what she does in the show that makes so many people hate her as a character. Like, yeah, she's just so unpleasant and so unlikable. It's just, the way she's written this show is awful. If anyone's the worst, it's definitely her. So, the, the thing with Mylene, just like the Devious Twins, she seems like a narcissist who only thinks of herself. Yet, she, she doesn't even try to look good around her peers like they do. Yeah, at least we try to look good around our peers because we're, we're amazing. No. She just... Show so much toxic behavior to her own friends even. It's concerning. So first of all, Maylene is super demanding. Like, she complains about everything. She complains about the amount of dressing space. You know, all the Rainbow Vision competitors were meant to have the... That same amount of dressing space. So, they weren't even meant to get special treatment. Or use their stupid tour bus. She gets mad about the color of candy in her dressing room. Because she wanted red, red, and not burgundy. 
Yeah, that is just really picky. Seriously. It's a school competition. What do you expect? Like, yeah, what kind of service do you expect at a school competition? Like, seriously, no one's gonna give you special treatment. It's a school competition. You gotta do everything for yourself. Gosh. And then there's a scene where Sabrina wants to go to the songwriting workshop. And but my me but my leans like, no, we always go to the salon as a group. You can't go there. Like, yeah. Maylene is so toxic. Like, seriously. The way she treats Sabrina, the way she never gives Sabrina a say in anything. That's why Sabrina being a member of their group is horrible. Like she does all the toxic behavior, then pins it on Sabrina. Like, And they have her being, like, such... Yeah, she deserved to have her dress, her dress sabotaged. She's, she's just that awful. And then just... And then after we kind of mess with their egos a bit, Maylene definitely takes it a bit too far. Like, she acts like she's always the best. That's her reaction that we remember her doing. And it's like, how big is your ego? And then apparently, just triggering their favoritism is enough to make them break up. And it's enough to trigger Mylene into breaking up the whole group. Despite Aisha not getting a say in it. And, and Sabrina not getting to say anything. Like, seriously. Like, watch that scene. Because we don't think they had a full conversation about it. We just think Maylene decided to break up the group with little input from the other Rainbow Divas. And then is the worst thing she does. It's just, she puts Rainbow High's winning in jeopardy by saying the, the, the Rainbow Divas are going to break, to drop, a, to drop out of the competition and get back together after Rainbow Vision. But the way she treats tree Sabrina, oh my gosh, she just gaslights her. Like Sabrina is just being an unproblematic queen. And then you have Maylene acting like she was the one who caused all the drama in the group. She was the one who, ca who caused them to break up. The one who removed Rainbow Vision for them. And it was like... No! It was all Maylene! And then Aisha's just being this bystander while this person is just bullying. Sabrina, and it's like, yeah, the way Maylene treats Sabrina, we consider worse than our sabotage, is because it's a personal targeted attack. Our sabotage is against Rainbow High in general, but her attacking Sabrina like that, it's a personal targeted attack her words made her cry and it was just you know what sabrina deserved her time in the spotlight sabrina deserved to get her own shot because it's like Maylene and by extension Aisha were being toxic to her. Like, seriously, Aisha could have took up for her even. But Maylene was just diabolical. Like, how do you do that to a friend and not apologize? Like, that's why we feel like Maylene's most evil because she, le she legitimately gaslights 
and hurts one of her own friends verbally multiple times in so many subtle ways and never apologizes. Yeah, it's obvious who's going to be the most evil in this. Even, even if we are respectful to our peers. Even if we are respectful to our peers. Yeah, us two are more respectful than my lean is. Yeah. For a singer, she does not know how to keep up appearances. And now moving on to the next section. So the next section is about our dear friend, the assistant. Oh, you mean our personal slave? Why would anyone think he's evil? He's just, he's just our follower. The fact that you thought he like respects you two and us puts him on the evil scale and makes him sus. Like, it's just enough when he, like, literally stops our sabotage. Press to, like, stops our sabotage. Only to make us all uncomfortable and force us work together. And he, and also the fact that he literally calls us the, like, greatest geniuses of all time. It takes a certain individual to admire literal evil twins who do sabotage. It really takes a certain individual to admire actions like that. Because most people, when they catch someone doing sabotage during school competition, they'll tell teacher. But the assistant, no. He, he admires and thinks it's cool, so... That's definitely a little morally messed up. Like, what's up with him? I don't know. Not to mention that he kept switching between us and them during the competition because it was so mean. Yeah. That was sus as well. Like, if he wasn't evil, you think he would be, be more of a loyal friend to the Devious Twins. But no. He does he decides to switch sides for a bit, and it's just it's unclear where his alliances lie. He's just kind of weird. And, and of course he helps us with our with our sabotage all the time. Because he's amazing. Yeah, we don't think he's most evil because He also he also like wrote a song for us during Revision that was super cringe. You know, we feel like while he, he is a bit evil, he's not the most evil. Like, his actions are either in response to ours or the Devious Twins. Or they're, like, planned by one of us rather than himself. Except for him forcing us to work together. Making that whole speech about reality TV. It's like, it's like he was insane in that moment. Yeah, what was up with him? He, he, uh, we, we just think he wanted to find a way for both of us to win and get what we want. He, he, he was trying to help us. That wasn't helping. That was making us feel awkward. It was his way, his way of helping. So, case closed. The assistant is not evil. Well, you two are biased on that. So, we are not trusting your opinion. And the assistant didn't plan any of the sabotage against those darn dolls and Kingley's boys. That, that was all us. Well, he was one who forced us to work together. And we just want to show him some of our work. But still, he did not directly do, do, do as much as sabotage. He just wanted to get us together to help. 
help each other's souls win, so... Yeah, his plan was, was weird and stupid. You know what? We don't think the assistant is most evil here. We just think he's, he's sus, so... We're gonna kind of leave it at that. A little evil, a little sus, but not the most evil. And the fact that... Uh, that like, all his sabotage in Rainbow High Season 2 was stuff we told him to do or we inspired him to do. Yeah. So now we have the final verdict and we ask the question again. Who is the most evil Rainbow High character? And we have to say, based on the votes and based on the analysis, Maylene. Because psychologically, Maylene isn't helping anyone. She only thinks of herself. And she shows so much toxic behaviors and personal attacks one of her own friends. It's not even funny. The, the thing is watching us and them, it's, it's funny. It's amusing. Because our characters are written as villains. We're written in a manner that makes us more interesting like that. But Maylene, she's just toxic. Through and through. And it's not entertaining. Well, that is our consens consensus on who the most evil Rainbow High character is. Goodbye, mysterious audience. I love you. Naomi loves you. The Divas ones appreciate you. And we got the phones in this video, so yay.